What's up guys, JD here, hope you guys are doing good, because I am good, I'm always good, as you know. Anyway, so, here's the deal, I'm going to go ahead and show you how much money I've spent on my trip, just like I told you, today's the 5th, it's been a whole month that I've been on the road, and now it's time to break it down, so let's do that. Alright, I broke this down in three ways, number one is gas, number two is food, and number three is other. That is things like going out, that is things like mechanical, auto stuff, medical stuff, things like that that you get at Walmart or Target or any other place. Those are the three categories that I broke this down, so let's go ahead and get into it. Hello? Check, check. Oh, we're good. Okay. This one is gas. Let's talk about this for a second. Gas back home is about 240, 245. Right now, over here in California, it's like 375. It's disgusting. And it depends on where you go. It depends on what gas station. It depends on who the owner is and this and that and the other thing. And if you have cash, cash is king uh, at some places. Not every place. But you can go to places, get cheaper gas. And one place I saw, it was 291 opposed to it being 355 if you paid with cash. So, here's my breakdown on that. Oh, just taking a break real quick to eat an apple. Let's break this down real quick. So gas, literally, I stopped one, two, three, four, five. A lot of times I stopped for gas. I like to keep my gas basically above half a tank if possible. If anything happens, if I break down, I still have gas in the car. We've still got things that we can uh, we can siphon it out if we need gas or something else, whatever. Anyway, we've got half a tank of gas. I like to fill up over half a tank. Keep it that way if I can. So in saying that, gas cost total trip for 5,900 miles so far, you're looking at $755.25. Now, that sounds like a lot off the bat, but if you really break that down, I have a V6 without the Hemi. That's right. And that engine, it's an older engine. The vehicle has 280,000, 280,500. 90 hundred what I can't even say right now. Right, so basically gas costs a uh, whopping $755 and it was 25 cents 755 25 was the total for that So the gas prices here are more expensive. You're looking at almost four dollars a gallon If you got cash bring cash because cash is king at some of these places and it helps out so much uh, Across in California some in Nevada or Nevada as I like to call it now and it's uh, so again gas $755.25 now, let's break down the food cost. So food cost for this trip, I've stopped a lot, I've ate a lot, I've been trying to eat healthier. If you can eat healthy, it helps a lot better. Like healthy as in, or like, star not starve yourself, but like eat things like apples, and bananas, and water. If you can do that, yeah, save a little bit of money. But anyway, I spent a little bit on this. This does not include what people have actually paid me to go eat food. So this is only my own money again on these trips. So, I'll show you guys your breakdown. Food breakdown goes like this. So far as food, after 5,900 miles, I have spent $400.25. That's $400.25. And it literally is like one of those things that you have to eat. If you don't eat, you're gonna die. No, you're not gonna die. But you have to eat to enjoy yourself. And uh, so far I've eaten decently and pretty good. And thanks to a lot of you guys, I've eaten really good. And so $400.25 is what I've spent on food so far in 5,900 miles. And that's just for myself. 200 pounds, beast, basically you could call me. I'm a, I'm a beast. I eat a lot, If uh, usually when I'm back home. I'm just kidding. Next is the auto mechanical stuff, the fun stuff, things that I spent money on, that uh, laundry, things like that, the necessities, some not the necessities. Basically, it's the other category. So the other category goes like this. $462 spent on other stuff. That's going out, that is certain things like laundry, that is all that kind of good stuff. Mechanical, buying parts if I need it, different wrenches, whatever the heck it may be. So that's that. So all together, this whole trip. Okay, so for this entire trip, I have spent a whopping, but not really, $1,637.50. Mind you, I started this trip with $1,200 to my name. I have since made 
money, working odd jobs for friends, and doing certain things to earn money online and things like that. So that is a whole nother video, and I'm not gonna get into it right now, but that is the breakdown on how much it costs with gas, with food, and with other things like car repairs, doing fun things, things like that. All right, so basically with 17, we'll call it $1,700, you could only go to Disney World, Mexico, Cancun, you know, overseas, take a trip or a vacation like that. You could only do that with $1,700 for a very short amount of time. Say a weekend, depending on where you go, the time of year it is. Uh, maybe a week is the longest that you're gonna be able to go. But I've gone an entire month now and I have only spent, and it sounds, does it sounds like a lot maybe if you're looking at a big number, it's a small number when you break it down day by day and that's gas, that's food, and that's basically buying and doing other things outside of not just driving, but enjoying myself. So if you guys have any questions, please message me. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, The Real JD Squad, and then follow us on Twitter, follow us on Instagram, like us on Facebook, and we're just gonna be out there just doing our thing, just having fun, and I hope you guys are too. Hope you guys are loving the travels. I hope you're loving the videos, and make sure you check in and always remember to dab out. That's right, I'll see you guys later.